Since Jameson Benedict was born almost three months ago, the neonatal intensive care unit at Krauss Hospital has been his home. Being here and holding him, it makes me feel like I haven't been robbed of my child. His mother Dawn has been at his side since the day he was born. Born at 34 weeks, Jameson had limited brain tissue, vision loss, and serious issues with his stomach. Issues that formed while he was inside the womb. So sometimes it's just the gut. Sometimes it's just the brain. The combination, that's rare, even for us. Since the beginning, he's had a tube inserted into his nose to drain out everything that goes in his belly because his body can't digest it. The key step to Jameson going home is inserting a permanent feeding tube in his stomach. Doctors have tried to do it twice, but each time he's rejected it, either by vomiting or his stomach will become swollen and uncomfortable. That's why his doctor nicknamed him Trouble. Jameson decides, no, 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 I don't like that. And he does something like not tolerate his feedings or not keep his temperature up or do something that says, no, you guys said one thing, I'm going to do the opposite. It's an uncertain future for Jameson with his doctors and family waiting for his little body to respond. If his brain over time develops slowly, then he's going to survive a very long time. If this is something that is not going to improve, he could pass away. We just don't know what caused it, which is why it's all unknown. It's very difficult to think about. Very difficult. We don't want to lose him. For now, Dawn holds on to the precious moments she has with her sweet little boy. Reporting from Krauss Hospital in Syracuse, I'm Dora Scheidel.